What's up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. Super excited to bring you guys today's video. It's actually one from a couple days back. Back, you know, way back when, when I didn't have a voice and I could barely do any talking. Well, guess what? I got the vocal cords back now. Still feeling terrible, but not too bad to take the day off, which I don't ever do. So we're not going to do that. So in today's video, just to give you guys a little background of where we're going, we're going to go about two to three hours away to do some fishing for a species you've actually never seen me do a whole lot of fishing for on this channel and you've never ever seen me eat it on this channel i've never even eaten it before so i'm super excited to share the fishing experience with you and then we're going to come back here and uh, make some delicious fish out of what we go catch now before we get started you guys might be wondering why i'm wearing this extremely sexy ugly Christmas sweater uh, from shopcarls.com and that is because I want to let you guys know that shopcarls.com where I purchase all my fishing tackle is having a giant Black Friday sale. So the reason I've been purchasing all my fishing tackle at shopcarls.com is because once you buy that membership you get a 30% discount on almost everything in the entire freaking store. So I mean you go buy an expensive reel it's going to pay for your membership from the start plus you get all the baits that I use on a daily basis cheaper than literally anywhere else you can buy them. But if you click the link at the top of the description right now, you actually get a free 30-day membership for you to go check out all that stuff and get signed up before Black Friday, in which case they're having an even bigger sale. 10%, 15%, even bigger discount off of the already 30% discount. You guys gotta go do it. Go, go hit the link down below, check it out. Free 30-day membership. Trust me, you'll you'll be wanting to spend your money there, buy your tackle there, because it's literally cheaper anywhere else. Thank me later. Anyways, let's get down south. A couple hours, get to Slaunch Chicken. Let's go. Hot on Josh. Put on the old blade. Put into an old tank. She got some weights to her. It's a uh, crappie, I think. I saw a big school of suspended craps here, and that's what we appear to have. Uh, that might be white, just looks stupid. It's a big ass white bass, dude. Look at that whitey. We keeping him? We keeping him? Hell yeah, dude. God, dude, that's like the biggest white bass I've ever caught. Look at that thing. Jesus. Open me up, Jish. Look at dinner, cat. Let me know if there's water in there. Any water? water. <laughs> Not for him. Okay, we got dinner. All right, on the board. Not a wiper, but like literally the biggest white bass I've ever caught. Basically, we're out here in like 28 feet of water. Just kind of looking around on the screen. See if we can find fish on there, just moving around. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna kind of drift around, look for bait. These fish are uh, usually pretty tight to the bottom, the wipers anyway. Sitting underneath the big groups of shad. Just tied on this blade bait. And pup, pow, we're on them. Yep. Probably a white, but tell you it. Yeah. The old white bass circle. God, they're fat. Dude, these are going to be pretty good. Hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. Nibblers. Drop the poles, Joshua. We're on them. Hit the button. You broke the back deck. Poles aren't dropped. Come here, bod. Looks like a, is that a white? Yeah. Looks like dinner. First ever catch and cook. Oh, got him. Oh yeah, they're right on us. They are under us. Double. Gah. I might have a white. I got a white. Of course. Of course, I get the big, giant, fat white bass. Look how big this! Oh, oh it was a giant. Oh, damn it! Yeah, there's a group of them there. Old whitey, big old whitey. 
tanks. Tanks whiteies that probably taste like butthole, but I don't know. Three bites, one cast with his friends. Big wiper. That ball. No, oh, you hooked him in the head. I don't know. What do you know, Josh? Oh, dude, that was a giant. What do I keep doing that? The master. He's not bad. He's not bad, yeah. Taco white bass. White bass tacos. Yeah, I believe so. I believe I got myself a whitehead. Deaner. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Little baby. Little fat guy. He'll eat well. Oh, ow. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the ultra fat mega white bass catching. I know a lot of people probably have some good sized white bass around the country. Those were some of the biggest white bass I've literally ever caught in my entire life. So that gave us the opportunity to get back home, fillet some of those guys up and make a delicious meal. Now, a lot of people don't think white bass are a very good fish. A lot of people kind of think of them as a trash fish, not necessarily the best fish to go and eat, but we're gonna fillet some of those white bass up and uh, make a tasty, delicious meal. Hopefully, I've never had them before, but I think we can do a couple things to them. They're gonna make them taste pretty damn good. So we are going to fillet these dudes up today. So the way we're gonna fillet them is just your typical method where you go in, you take the knife right behind the gill plate, you're gonna take it right down, pretty much perpendicular to the fish, right down to the, uh, the, the spine, and then you're gonna ride that spine all the way to the tail. At this point, I like to leave it just connected a little bit so you can flip it over and you got a little bit of tension pulling back against uh, where your knife's gonna be going. So take the knife, run it right against that skin, and then of course trim any rib cage bones out of there. So once these fat white bass are all filleted up, we're gonna cut these fillets in half, and that way they're gonna stack up just perfect uh, given the recipe that we're about to go make. So uh, now that they're filleted up, let's head upstairs and uh, get going on this recipe. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, MFers, we are up in the kitchen now. It's time for the best part of the entire catch and cook portion video where we, uh, we cook and we get to eat this delicious fish. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so first and foremost, we got the old vegetable. Before we go on with any of the other ingredients, let's get this guy heating up. We're not gonna fill it up super high. We're just gonna put about a quarter inch or so, coat the entire bottom of the pan, turn that son bitch up to about seven. Oh yeah, let that heat up. Here are our beautiful, sexy white meat fillets. As you guys noticed, trimmed as much of that red meat off as possible as with all fish that have a lot of red meat on them. Like catfish, you wanna trim as much of that off and get the fishiness flavor away. I also cut all these fillets in half, which is gonna go perfect with our fish sandwich. Yes. For the breading materials, we have milk. We don't need that anymore. And we have this real, I haven't tried this exact kind before, but New Orleans style fish fry should be good. Have a little kick. Salt and pepper, of course, we'll need that. We're gonna make a sexy little sauce. Sauce. Gonna have tartar sauce, mustard, cayenne pepper, and homemade hot sauce. Gonna top it with some lettuce and some onion for the buns. A little bit of mayonnaise and the griddle. We'll get to that in just a second, though. This is what we do with the little little breading station. So we got our fish here. We got a little bit of milk. We got our breading. Of course, we need to make sure that the oil is hot enough, real quick. The way I do that, take a little bit of breading, hit that, and if it sizzles right away, you know it's hot. It's got to be really, really close if it's not there already. So we're gonna take a couple of these fillets. Dunk them right there in the milk, just as a little bit of an adhering liquid into the breading mixture. Also important to try to keep one of your hands clean during this process. Trust me on this. All right, let's get these guys going in the oil. Oh yeah, that's money right there. These are literally some of the biggest white bass fillets I've ever seen in my life. These fish were freaking giant for white bass. There we go. We'll leave those in there for probably three to four minutes on each side, and then we'll flip them over and do the same thing. Golden brown on both sides, that means they're done. That's a little bit of rice. Apparently it's good to have side dishes. Probably a good idea. Let's make some sauce. Everything in my cooking, very Im impre imprecise. Not pre I don't know if that's even a word. Not precise measurements are used frequently. So we're gonna take our tartar sauce right here. We're gonna dump about yay much in there. Not a ton. We're only making about three to four sandwiches tonight. Maybe 10, I don't know. A little bit of homemade hot sauce, probably about half as much hot sauce as you did. Tartar sauce, 
probably two to three tablespoons, pow pow. Yellow mustard, once again, about the same amount of yellow mustard as hot sauce. And then for a little bit more kick, we like things spicy in this household, we're gonna do a little cayenne pepper. Probably only about a teaspoon or so of cayenne. We're gonna mix this together. And the most important thing with imperfect sauce mixture combinations is, we gotta test them, of course. See if they taste good, see what needs to be added. See if it's too hot. No way it's gonna be too hot. Oh man, that's perfection. We're not even, we're good. Good to go. There we go. There's the golden browns we're looking for. All right, this round of fish is golden brown on both sides. Take them over here. Put them on the old paper towel with that grease drain a little bit. Keep them hot. We're gonna do one more batch and we're gonna start assembling some sandwiches. All right, so now the second batch of fish is rolling. Yes, we do have more fish. I'll probably cook those up so I can eat them as leftovers later on. It's time to make our buns just add a little bit more better. More better, a little bit better. There, we're gonna be more better. We're gonna just take a little bit of mayonnaise. Got the griddle rolling there. And we're gonna brown these guys up. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna brown them buns. All right, we got three buns rolling on there. Not gonna take too long, so keep an eye on those. You don't want them to burn. Okay, time to assemble these sexy sandwiches. Look at that fish. God dang it, that looks sexy. All right, so we're gonna take these perfectly toasted buns. This one's a little bit, I don't know, he doesn't look perfect, but it's gonna be damn good, okay? And we're gonna take him, put him on our plate. Let's go with one, two, we're going big tonight. Three fish patties. Then we're gonna take a little bit of sauce. By a little bit, I mean like a heaping amount of sauce. We're gonna go with a couple onions. And we're gonna take some fresh lettuce. We don't want too much lettuce because healthy stuff sucks. So we're just gonna go right over the top like so. Garden tomatoes are delicious on here as well. Shut that guy down like so. Look at that. That's what a sandwich is supposed to look like. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay, time to eat this and drink this nice Coors. I like refreshment, I don't know, not the most hardcore beer, not the most high alcohol or whiskey, but it sounds good, it's what's in the damn fridge. Now keep in mind, most people think of this as like a trash fish, but there's probably no way that's gonna taste bad, so let's, uh, let's dive into this guy. I mean, that's as white meat as it gets. Sauce is delicious. Onion's really good on there. Bun's really good. I've made this with like crappie, bluegill. I thought the pan shape, the white firm meat of the white bass this would be perfect. Fish sandwich recipe. And it is super, super jacked about this. I'm gonna put like 14 to 15 of these sandwiches away right now. We're gonna take this video out so I can just stuff my face and get messy and get the sauce all over me. It's delicious. If you guys like this video, let me know down below. Let me know if you have eaten white bass. This is by far and away the best fish I've actually had in a minute. Really, really good fried fish recipe. So let me know if you guys have tried it before. If you wanna try it and uh, let me know if you like this recipe. If you guys like the fishing portion of this and wanna see more catch and cooks, of course, go subscribe. You'll see a lot more of those moving forward. And uh, as always, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Go pick up some new Melican fishing apparel. We got some brand new designs like this hat and this shirt. And I will catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine